And me and my boyfriend broke up. I used to dress up in a trench coat, sunglasses, and baseball cap. Who does that? That's the weirdest thing she said. You can't wear trench coats. That's wrong. Take one of my friend's cars as a disguise, drive an hour to his okay. house, park around the block where I can still see his house, wait for hours till he would get home from being out just to see if he brought a girl home. But oh, oh. that's the old me. That is exposing a toxic trait. I feel like re relationships are hard. We know that. They're not easy. Editor can tell you that. They'll put it up right here. They're going to say something like Chetty's right or something right there. They're going to say he's a smart guy or something. I feel like when you break up with somebody or you call it quits, uh, I feel like there's no in between. I feel like it either goes good or it don't go good. And I think that's the way it's not going good. So I mean, at least she's admitting it, I guess, but like wearing a trench, but who wears a trench coat? Chris knows that's wrong. I know it's wrong. No more trench coats. It's 2022, not 1952. And then, that, but like that's some like d Inspector Gat, like go, go, spy on X. That's just so weird. That's some go, go gadget shit. You know what I mean? It's so weird. Stop following him around, bro. Leave him alone. It's over. I don't know. Well, I'm in a relationship and I don't want to nice be hair. in a relationship like anymore. Hair. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I literally set you up to cheat. <laughs> like I'll get like a girl to DM you or what? something like that. Or I'll get a girl to like comment her eyes under your picture. Like I'll get, I'll bait you. And once you respond okay. to the DM, you know, I act like everything's okay. And then like two days later, I act like the girl sent it to me. <laughs> but whole time I sent the girl to you so we can break up because I don't want to be with you no more. Ah. Uh, uh... Did we just get like the JFK assassination reveal of like what people do to f break up with like what? <laughs> what is that, dude? What you you fake she and then DMs and then and then does a little bit of that. That's that's so bad. That is so wrong. I cannot I cannot condone that activity. I liked your hair at first, but you know what? You're not such a nice person, so I don't know if I do like that anymore. Next, please. They wouldn't let me in the photo shoot. Woo, you look good, girl. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but then he goes into, damn. Okay, so one of them got it, and then the other one, enact, like, she got the revenge. But one of them, sorry, like, you know, somebody had to be take the fall here. Gonna have to be you. That is just the situation of it. But why didn't you let the guy in this picture, though? Come on. I mean, he's lonely. He wants to be part of it. When you have a girlfriend, you usually ask them for their Wi-Fi password when you spend the night. And sometimes you can get access to the router. It's very simple. The password's on the back of the box. And when you have access to the router, it's really simple to actually check to see what other devices have connected to this router and this internet. So by doing so, you can actually determine who's been there before. And you can also set this up so you can check this remotely. So let's say she might say, oh, I'm staying in tonight. Well, I can just easily check remotely to see if her device is still uh, in. Okay. Yeah, not, that's your... If another device comes online, maybe she's seeing someone. I feel like this has a lot to do with, I feel like this, this is a, I think this is a, a popular one in, in relationships. Trust is a big one. I mean, if it's someone new, you're saying, I, I don't know. I just, I've only, I, I haven't been in that many relationships in my life. The group, the girls just didn't, it was me. They didn't, you know, they didn't really, you know, so I, 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 I they've been few and far between, but I, they last a long time when I'm around. You know what I mean? I, I make them, I make them stay. It's, it's the blue eyes. What can I say? But you know, the, the trust thing, I mean, it's just, it, it goes a long way. It goes a long way, brother. And I feel like if you have to do that to somebody because you don't trust them, I feel like it's just not going to work out in general. And and if they are doing something heinous, I don't understand what the like. If your if your suspicions are confirmed, then it's like, are you going to fight or are you just going to go? Because if it was me, I just go. Like, why why stay and fight? What's the point in staying and fighting? You know? I don't know. Back in my petty toxic days, I used to Back track who my exes would follow on social media, like the girls, yeah. and I would follow them as well become their best friends, oh. and so my exes could never have a chance with them. It always worked, every single time. And I made a lot of great friends, so was it really that toxic? <laughs> Uh, I mean, that is some, that is some chess plays. I'm moving pawns. She's moving bishops and rooks. That is, uh, wow. I guess that works. But again, I feel like I'm not Dr. Phil, okay? If you're hurting real bad on the inside, I can't say anything to the ranch. I only know a little bit about relationships, but I feel like, I feel like if a relationship's working, y'all know it's working and then it's working. And if it's not working, then, you know, it's, it's not. So I just, I, a lot of the stuff just feels unnecessary to me. It just feels like it's no, no need for all that all that all that spine and whatnot you don't need to do that okay you don't have to do that that's bad don't spy on your girlfriend your boyfriend whoever they might be just relax and be yourself go get the ball and put it up 
<laughs> Sorry. Oh, he's Two. right there. <laughs> It's like he basically watched the whole thing happen. He came up out of nowhere. And like, I like how they said he spawned out of nowhere. At least he's cool. He seems like a cool employee. He could have been really pissed and like said, get your ass out of here. Kicked them out of the store and said, he's like, go get the ball. It was like a disappointed parent. That's the vibe I got. I used to love going to Walmart and around with their, like the balls and stuff. I'd like ride the bikes, like sit on all of them and test them, like throw the balls. Oh yeah. It's like a playground, it was free. I will leave a lipstick or a lip gloss that I don't okay. care about that the guy oh. has never seen Mark me in your use territory. at his house. Yep. In an obvious spot. If he doesn't ask me if that's mine within the next two to three days, Ooh. I automatically assume he has another side hoe. Now, if he does end up texting me or sending another me a picture si asking a me, hey, I think you forgot this or I think this is yours, I will respond, no, that isn't mine. And just see what he does. His reaction will tell me everything I need to know. That's, uh, that is, I believe, is what people in the criminal underworld would like to call. It's entrapment, I don't want it. It's entrapment, you can't, that's, that's, you can't, that, that's a trap. What's, what's, the, what's the guy's name from Star Wars? Admiral Akbar. My Death Star is fully operational. Yeah, you can't, that's, that's very toxic. If, if you, like, what are you trying to figure out though? Like if the guy's innocent, what are you trying to figure out? If the dude's all right, you're just, yeah, you're stepping on land. Landmines, and that's not a good place to step. If I decide that I don't want to date you anymore, I don't tell you. I just decide in my brain, and then I slowly start removing myself from your life. I'll just start texting you less and hanging out with you less until you're like, hey, where are you? And I'm like, I'm gone, bye. I don't know if that's that toxic. I mean, if you, I mean, again, the honesty, just saying straight up, like, yo, this ain't working out for me. I, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a get out. But I don't know. Is that that bad? I don't think that's that bad. It's, it's, it's kind of like letting them down easy. It takes some time, and if you're willing to take the time to do that, I mean, you can't be that heinous. Can't be that toxic. That's probably the least toxic thing I've seen so far. What is this? Wait, what? What? Oh, okay. So they were. I understand. So they were trying to do a challenge. I think. I think it's a TikTok challenge. I don't, I'm not super familiar with it, but they were trying to do one. She leaves my guy hanging right there. And like, wow, that was pretty slick though to like drop the broom, catch the cup, and then boom like that. Like that was like a plus for like just like slickness right there, dude. The extremely toxic trait I have is okay. you have 24 hours to text or call me back if I reach out to you before I block you. Woo. Ain't nobody in the world that got busy where they can't return hours. a call or text. I don't play that. If I'm supposed she to be talking to you, you got 24 hours. And I'm 24 only 24 hours. hours. That's it. I block you. Ain't Second got time for that. Play with your mama. Don't play with me. Oh. Play with your mom, okay. You know, what if I was a second late though? What if I was like, what if I was indisposed for 24 hours? You know, being being an actor and a comedian and all the other stuff I do, sometimes when I'm on a set, sometimes I'm not allowed to have, I'm doing a lot of voice cracks today. Uh, uh, <laughs> would you like fries with that, Mr. Simpson? Sorry. No, but uh, a lot of times, like I'm not allowed to have my phone on me on set. I'm not allowed to do that. I'm not allowed to have that. So a lot of times it's gotta be off, cause like there's a lot of directors out there that think they're Scorsese. And they're not, but that's okay. They're trying, they're trying. But a lot of times I can't text. I just, I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm indisposed. I'm trying to get motivation for the picture. Trying to get in scene, trying to see what's behind me. Right, Leaning Tower of Peace is behind me. There's a machine gun in front of me. That's the scene, let's go. You know what I mean? You're, you don't have time. So uh, 24, I, I, res I, I respect where she's coming from because yeah, you, you're you and everyone has to have their own uh, boundaries, but 24 hours, I don't know. I feel like maybe 48 hours. Give me like, like if, if if the police wouldn't call for an Amber Alert, then you can't do it. You know what I mean? Like you gotta give the same amount of time. If they're not gonna file, if the police wouldn't file a missing report in the amount of time that I've been absent talking to you, then you gotta wait the same amount of time. That's hammer, law, legal. There's my gavel, do it. Yep. Once I see you start moving funny, you gotta go. A cutoff game is actually kind of scary. Like I could talk to you one day, okay. you move funny the next, and the very next day- What does moving funny you mean? You are, or even act like I did. The hell does that mean, moving funny? Like acting weird, like acting up? What's acting up? I'm a goofy kind of guy. I do weird stuff. Like I had a cramp this morning in my leg. I was telling Chris before we started. Now I'm not walking so great. Is that what you mean? Or like, what, what do you, What? what is your criterion uh, for acting up? I'm curious. I see the police car, yeah. Like, I'm just wondering, 
<laughs> What's going through that person's head? Because it's clearly a red light. It's not even yellow, not even close. Everyone is fully stopped. He went through that light so fast as if like, eh, it's green. I knew that was coming though. Saw the police car sitting there and I was like, there's no way. I've gone through a red light before and it had a camera and I didn't know and I got in trouble. Well, it was like yellow, you know? It's always a tricky game. Do you go through the yellow? Do you risk it? I shouldn't drive. Shoplifter thought he could get away. No, not. What? He thinks he can get away with that? What? Picking up what is a lot of my video. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> Oh. Police. Thief. 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 Thief.
And that he came on to you in the car and you guys are kissing. Yes. Yeah, see? Why would you sit here and lie? I lied because... So you weren't telling wait. the truth? I didn't think that she deserved you, so I lied. Oh my I'm god. Sorry. Okay, hold up though. Like that's not dude, like that's not the girlfriend's fault. Like that's the that's the friend's fault here. Like like if my friend, if like my best friend was saying, dude, your girlfriend, like she fully came on to me, like this happened. I would believe that because it's like my best friend, you know, I'd be like, why would they lie about that? So I don't even think, even think that's the girlfriend's like fault right there. It's like, I understand why she's coming after him and stuff. Like that's the friend though. Like that's a horrible human being right there to lie about that. I mean, that sucks. That sucks. I, I would do the same thing. Like, surely the dog, well, maybe the dogs weren't there first, but there's also like a huge beach girl that you could lie. But dogs can be annoying. My dog is this big and she somehow takes up most of the bed and does the exact, like, she'll lie sideways, she'll kick me to move me over as if I am not paying for the space she lives in. I get it. Not everyone has to know what I know or what I think I know. Now I'm still learning and still healing, but this one, babe. What do you if mean? If I didn't keep my babe, tell me. in check, she would really have me out here running around telling other people how to live their lives every damn day because I learned a thing and so you should know that thing and if you don't know that thing, then you aren't, whatever. Okay. And everyone Let's is hands. on their own individual journeys. Everyone is doing the best that they can with the information that they have and uh, with the experiences yeah. that they've lived through. I don't know what the hell the point of that was. What is, what in the hell are you talking about, lady? I, she was talking about people doing good. That's great. I'm glad people are doing great. They don't need to know what you know. Uh, I love the 2002-2003 WWE Undertaker bandana. I like that. I, I personally, you know what I mean? I like the, you know, the, you're on the chopper. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. I love that for you. I'm happy for you. But it sounds like what you got going on there is some pseudoscience in your head. You don't know what you're saying. And that's coming from a guy who doesn't know what he's saying. So. They hit the car. Come, let's go. They hit the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn around. Turn around. Oh no! Don't turn around. Keep going. Oh no! Oh! Oh! That's gonna make them mad. Yeah. Although, if someone hit my car with a bottle, yeah, I would have a problem with it. And like, what's a little rainwater, right? It would suck though. That, is, that would be the worst thing if someone did that puddle thing. Like if girls like had your hair and makeup done and everything, ooh, I'd be so mad. Just a regular drive and this happened. Cop car. Impatient driver decides to cut off the line. Oh. They do that. Oh, he's trying to get behind him. Right? Hello, I'm waiting for it. He's gonna turn on his sirens. Oh, <gasps> knew it. Can you really pull someone over though for them cutting the line? Like, no, right? 
Like what? What's what did they do? They like I get it's so annoying. We all get it when someone creeps all the way to the front and then they wedge in. Of course it's annoying, but it's like what do you pull them over for? I don't know, but whatever. It is some satisfaction knowing that it got pulled over. <laughs> oh my gosh. love that. I would never have the guts to do it though. I like to think that I would, especially in Toronto because this happens all the time. Like I, I would like to think that I'd have the guts to just get on that car and be like, get off the crosswalk. But I really don't think I would. I always walk around. I will put myself in front of traffic to get around. Yeah, I don't think I, could, I would have the guts to do that. That's pretty ballsy. <laughs> what if you like scratch their car? I don't know. I don't have the guts, would you? If I was drunk and I was feeling like rowdy, 100%. But on a normal day, I don't think I would. I think I'd take the high road, which is boring. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Deservingly so, deservingly so. You think that that guy dressed up as Squidward wants to be dressed up as Squidward? Like, let's face it, folks, he's probably getting into his costume. He's like, God damn it, it is so bloody hot out today. And for the next few hours, I have to be Squidward, let alone you throwing water on him. Like, come on, man, this was so deserved. Oh, sniped. What are we gonna do? Uh. Ha. Screw him. Ha. Yeah, buddy. I mean, like, you sniped her. I don't know. I imagine that she got there first, in which case, like, that is rude as hell. And this was deserved. So now you're going to have to stand there and wait until she comes back. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh, well, that was very quick. Why would you do, oh, you know what though? Th these geese are not nice. They're very vicious, y'all. They attack you. If you, ha if you haven't been to Canada and you haven't seen them, don't go near them. I swear, don't go near them. They're crazy. They peck you and they run really fast. But I also wouldn't hit one with my bike. That's not nice. I'm not sure what's worse, swans or geese. Swans are also very vicious. One of them bit my sister. Oh my god. Hey, you, clean up your dog poop. Stop letting your dog poop on my lawn. I have you on video. Yeah. Come pick up this nice pile of <laughs> your dog left in my oh, yard. Man. Look at it. I have children here. That's your dog. Yeah. Please pick it up. Thank you for picking up the feces from yeah. my yard. I appreciate it greatly. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like this is obviously pretty extreme, but I imagine that she's probably been doing that for like a long time. And like, this is like six months of like built up tension, just like coming, like pouring out right now. I always say guys, like if you have a dog, like they're beautiful, they're cute, like you wanna play with them, but like one of your only responsibilities is you have to pick up their crap. You take it for walks, you pick up their crap, you feed them. Like it's not that difficult, so just do it. Oh wow! I hate, oh I hate her. Gosh, what is she doing? I hate grass? her. I hate you. Look at all that. Yeah. Clearly, you're not supposed to throw trash on the ground, lady. <laughs> She's in trouble now. Oh man! Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, she hit it. <laughs> no That's hilarious. Way. That is hilarious. <laughs> wow. She doesn't even see where he is. Dude, I like littering is one of my biggest pet peeves, man. Like, it's like we hurt the planet so much as is, and like now you're just gonna throw your crap everywhere too. Like, come on, like just like be better. And the thing is too is like you're in you're in a parking lot. I have to imagine that there's got to be a garbage bin like I don't know, like somewhere around here, not that long, a hundred meters away, max. Just take your crap and go over there. Or if you don't even want to walk, just drive over there, park. Put it in the garbage can and be done with it. Like this was just so unnecessary. I love 
canceling plans. Hear me out, okay? I know it's a, it's no. a problem for me, but I just love doing I'll it. I'll cancel but you. The reason why is because I have this terrible yeah. habit of agreeing to plans that I don't even want to do. I'm just in the heat of the moment. I'll be like, yeah. They're like, Jordan, spelunking on Friday? I'll be like, you got it. I don't even know what spelunking is, but I just said yes to it. Right? That's a but game, now, isn't it? I love I canceling those plans. Why? Because then I'll have so much free time to do nothing like I've been doing all day, which is what? nothing, but I could just do more of it, and I love that. Listen, dude, we, we've all got a little bit of that social that that's a toxic trait that's a very toxic trait because it sounds like he just does it for for he just does it for doozing it grammar that makes sense you know we've all we've all been a little flaky sometimes we all said yeah let's do that and the day came and you're like in your bed and you're just like nice and cozy with a blankie on you're just like nah that's, that's not happening today. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but you know, I, I if it's a, if it's something you really don't want to do, honesty is the best there. I'm always honest. If someone says, Chetty, do you want to go rock climbing? And, and then I'm going to say, listen, man, um, I'll do a lot of stuff, but the rock climbing, <clears throat> not going to do it. You're going to have to help me get up. And I don't want to do that. Paintballing? Okay. Ding, ding. I like that. That's nice. We'll do paintballing, but rock climbing? No, thanks. Oh. Uh... Yeah, yeah, let's get him. I think I've seen this one before. I think somebody picks it up and throws it back in. Oh, damn. Damn, dude. Yeah, for real. Like, look at your vehicle. You're telling me that you can't afford to, like, put your thing in the freaking garbage can? Like, I hate these people, and I, I don't want to generalize here because, like, that's not right to do. But, like, it feels like this guy, like, I just get the, the vision. Like, this guy's got so much money that, like, he just doesn't care about the karma or the uh, the consequences. You know, it's like the consequences don't apply to him because he's just got too much money. And, like, that's just not right. Nick <laughs> Dude, okay, like that's just like honestly, like I, I vibed with the song and like that was cool because like that's a great song, like not the not this version, but like the original. Uh, but yeah, like that's just rude, man. Like look at all these people, like they're they're chilling in a freaking traffic jam. Like they don't want to be here. They're like, god damn, like I'm just trying to get home. I just worked my nine to five. I'm sick of this. And you're just out here giving them the finger, like, bro, ticket you up. just came out of nowhere. Whoa! Okay, so a car pulls up. They literally, that was the worst acting I've ever seen. And they pretended to like, whoa, you hit me like literally 30 seconds later. Terrible acting, no one believed that. But then some random cop just comes out of nowhere? That looks like an undercover cop. Didn't he have handcuffs? That's strange. That's strange. Oh, questionable behavior. Now what are we doing? Ah, you're done, you're done, you're done. Now, okay, I'll be honest, is that illegal though? Like, I don't know, like maybe that, or maybe you could just say reckless driving. Like if you're the cop, like, you could just say like reckless driving. Like, cause that was reckless, you know? And it's like, that is a situation where, you know, just like one wrong move, like, like a millisecond of like wrongness right there and like somebody's getting hurt. So I guess, right? Like don't be doing that, man. <laughs> what? Oh, Hello. you're done. Yeah, you're done. That's so gross though. Like, <laughs> she's like pulled it out of her mouth, like put it in this guy's mouth. Like, she got him. Like, respect. Like, you got him, but like, damn. Like, also kind of gross. <laughs>